my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video 12, can you believe it, in our series Let It Snow, which is our Christmas lamp book. Now, um, I'm using the uh, paper pad, well, quite a few actually, from Graphic 45 called Let It Snow. So now, um, all we have left in this section is page 6. Can you believe it? We're already done, going to be done with section three. We're going to go on to section four, which is going to be pretty easy. And um, there's quite a bit of stuff here that I'm going to have done off camera because um, it's stuff that we've done before. Hopefully, we're just going to put it together in a new way. Now, um, for page six, I got some stuff done. Um, I've cut the page, the paper, and I kind of wish I had used this light blue a little bit more. Um, and you'll see that this is going to be kind of fun to glue on because it is curved. And um, remember, we're having an issue with the thickness, so um, hopefully we'll be all right. Um, this section is going to either be section three or section four. They're going to be, they're interchangeable really. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Um, depending on the thickness with one and two, you know, I'm going to have to put this one together and then check the, the thickness inside of our, um, our cover. So in this video, we're going to do page six and then, um, we're also going to do um, a couple of things for section four, which will pretty much almost do section four, except for a pocket. All right, so I've cut the paper, and then I've got two CD covers, and I've gone ahead and um, covered them because we did a CD cover in section one, I think. Um, so I didn't want you to have to, you know, watch me glue on the papers. So this is going to be very quick. Um, I uh, used this paper, which is the back side of the poinsettia paper. And then on the back side, I haven't put the paper on yet. So what we're going to do is the opposites. So I'm going to put the poinsettia paper back here. And then on the back of this one, I'll put the snowflake paper. Okay, so let's do that real quick. And I've already pre-cut most of everything too, so let me see, how do we do this? Still not right. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot how to fold it. We have too many flips and flaps. Okay, so on the back of this one, since it's got the poinsettia cover, we're gonna put this paper on the back. And now when you cut this, oh, the other thing I did obviously was cut the edge to make a pocket. Then I took the circle that I cut out. So the circle that I cut out of this one I put in here as the uh, back cover so that when the, there's no card in there, um, then that's the decoration. It's not just the plain white. Plus, as you'll see, these Amazon CD covers have a little opening. I'm not going to push it because it's not pushed through, but it has a little semicircle that will that is cut in the back. I'm not sure, oh, I know why, so that when you do this, you can slide it inside that little thing and it'll hold it shut. But anyway, I inked these down the center because I was going to cut them in half. And um, then I decided that that wasn't really going to work. Um, but now I've just thought of a way that it would have worked. So um, unfortunately, I won't be able to use it. But but you will see it in a future project because I like the idea. So um, let's 
this is the poinsettia so let's oh what I was going to say is make sure to measure and cut your paper all the way up to the edge because when we glue it on then that will glue this section right here shut if it doesn't it doesn't matter because we're going to put it on as a flap and once we put it on then you won't be able to get anything up in there nothing will be able to come out anyway so if you have directional paper make sure that you've got it going the right way I happen to like it this way versus this way which is stupid I know but it's just the pattern of the bigger snowflakes and on the other side is our bears which is the same as the back page on the back page we're just going to put um, a uh, large uh, acetate pocket but I'm going to go ahead and um, I have an idea to put a card in there like a folded in half card let's see how um, I'm going to do that off camera because just a folded card in half decorated with some of the ephemera that's left um, out of the uh, paper pad I mean not the paper pad the um, what am I trying to say the die cut set that I bought extra so so far oh there's that gnat again so far we're on um, two of the 8 by 8 pads two of the 12 by 12 pads one the design and one the solid slash um, uh, pattern but they're called the solids okay now this one they seem to look better this way straight up and down so this is going to be put on this way so this is going to be right side up no it's going to be put on this way well darn that makes my poinsettias upside down doesn't it no it doesn't I'm so goofy all right this is the top <laughs> I've lost it I've totally lost it and then I hope you like this idea um, I thought it would be kind of fun I don't have the cards made for inside the CDs um, but I will do that I wanted to wait and see what papers I had I'm thinking um, if I have some of the blue snowflake paper put a blue snowflake card in one and then put a po the poinsettia card in the other um, that will be the only uh, pad paper we've used for cards but I'm assuming that even if you might use some of the blue cards or the idea for the solid cards with the stencils so people can write on them um, that you may also be putting uh, some of the uh, uh, pad paper in as cards as well the only thing is they're two-sided so it's kind of hard to write on it if you wanted to write on one side of the card and not make it completely decorative so you're gonna have to think about that decide what you want to do that's why I kind of liked the idea I would use a much lighter weight um, card the one that's in the 40s I think if you could find something in the color maybe in the 30s I wouldn't do typing paper obviously okay now we're gonna have a belly band I haven't decided which one I like this one the pattern's kind of big on this one but I wanted it to be wider let's see oh look at that no hmm I think that's too much of the same 
polar bears are on the next page. That's too bad. That's a good size scrap. Let's do something with words on it. Now these are all scraps. My little chicken arms going around. <laughs> all right, so now let's center this. Um, let's try to get this Santa in. See how we can do that. We're going to want a little bit extra wide band because it's going to have to support one of these CD covers. So there, now you know the secret. The secret is out. How wide is this? I think we could go three. Let's do three and then see where we're at. I like the fact that it says let it snow and so very merry. So let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, let's let's trim Santa's feet. Oh, but then that trims off. Let it snow. Let's go down to here. Right there where the snowflake is and then we'll trim this much off the bottom and then that'll give us our belly band I have the most scraps now than I've had the whole project and it's because I have the second 8x8 eight eight that I bought. So I'm not using up the scraps as much because I'm just using, I, I just started using it in this section. Okay. Now, we want it to be over in here, we're going to take this one and do it on this side, okay? So actually, we could go ahead and glue that on. Let's do that, and that will help us use all the help we can get at this stage, right? Are you punch drunk yet? doing all this stuff. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I've had a really good time doing this uh, lap book. I love lap books. The next um, project I have coming out besides my design team projects, which I do two a month, every three months I do three that month, um, The uh, but the next big project I have coming out is another 15 part series. And it's a, a, a combination um, uh, journal um, album. So there's plenty of spaces to write, but there's a story and everything. So I think it'll be fun. I think you'll like it. So I think if we put this here, so I think you figured out what I'm going to do. Oh, we didn't finish the CD covers, but that's all right. We can do it in just a second. Is I'm going to put the CD cover on here so that it is staggered. I could just center it from the bottom, couldn't I? Oh, look at that. All right, see, that's why we had to have the CD cover on there so we knew how far over to put the belly band. All right, and then it's going to be up a little bit because the belly band is going to be glued. that'll give us room here. Hmm. 
Maybe we should put it over here, a little more room to get the card out. You're going to have to open it anyway. All right, let's see what that looks like with this one closed. Oh, and I put the wrong one on the top. Wonder if I can get it off. This is so thin of paper, I just. Okay. I want to put this one up here. Oh, here we go with the right side up and the upside down again. Okay, this is the top. So if that one's, if we're going to take into account the belly band for the bottom one, then we should for the top one as well, so that they're even, from one from the top and one from the bottom. There's still quite a bit of glue on the paper. Why didn't you guys stop me? I'm yakking away. Now, let's get this one. I think we had it right here, didn't we? And then there'll be a card in here, obviously. on. In the um, paper pad that's just the papers, there's, um, this is considered a solid and um, there's two solids that are the same and um, they have two different fronts. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh. Drink pop if you've got it. Cheers. Big gulp. A big gulp for the microphone. <clears throat> now we're going to slide this in so that it'll still be a belly band. So we want to slide it in about there. That'll be cool. I like that. More thickness, but the thickness is going to be at the top. The double is at the top, more the top than the bottom, the middle. Mark where we want the top and then I'll erase it. Oh, look at that. There was almost enough glue still on there. And then that'll be it for this page, except for the cards. Oh, no, it won't. So then we're going to put pockets on the back. That's too tall. three. If we made them two. Oh, 
Well, hi, Oz. Everybody say hi to Oz. One, two, three. Hi, Oz. For those of you that haven't been watching me, that's my Chihuahua. So he's half weenie dog, half Chihuahua. So we do two and a half. That'll give us a little more room to decorate, won't it? Yeah, that'll be about, that'll be the middle. Anyway, he comes in to visit me. He never used to come in here um, that much, but now for some reason he's um, started sleeping in here while I'm working and recording, and I love it. I do. I love it. Love it. So on the back of this one is going to be this. Remember, bleh, remember, you're going to need cards to slide inside. Ooh, there's a big blob of glue right there. The good thing about Fabri-Tac is it peels right off your fingers once it's dry. It's a smidge wide. Not enough that I would want to try to cut it off. End up with it being too short. I was going to put acetate pockets on here. Did I get him? <laughs> it's driving me insane. Don't laugh. Okay, go ahead and laugh. That's all right. All right, so we've got two pencil marks to erase. All right. So now I'm going to decorate these off camera. There's no reason for you to watch me sift through the ephemera. So that's all we're going to do for this page. And um, yeah, I think it's spiffy, even though there's not a lot to it. doesn't have to be super complicated to be kind of cool. Now remember, we want to put quite a bit of glue on the edges because this one is going to have to bend to be put in the book or the section of the book, whatever, you know what I mean. I've been calling them sections. They're interchangeable. Oh, well, the middle ones we had set up to be left and right, didn't we? Oh, that's all right, because we'll just move this one. This one will open either way. Hungry again. I know you guys think most all I do is eat, but I actually don't. I usually eat breakfast, sometimes lunch. Usually a granola bar or something. And then maybe some popcorn for supper. <laughs> My healthy diet. My friends all tell me I need to eat more. But I'm not hungry. I'm not a hungry person. Well, I am hungry, I guess. It seems like I'm hungry all the time. But it's because I record at, you know, kind of the same times. Yeah, I think that's 
it's going to be all right. A-okay. So, other than the acetate pocket, which I think I have a piece the right size, This is that heavier acetate. It's just barely not wide enough. I keep my paper clip together so I can see them. And I also have the thick and the thin separated, of course. That was kind of a silly thing to say. I'm sure you guys do the same thing. Oh, the exact width. Okay, so I'm going to paper clip this in here. And I'll come back off camera and put that in. Okay, so, oh, I wanted to put a magnet in. It's too late. Darn. And I had it written down, too. I'm going to have to use a dot now. Darn it. Or I could just fold it like that. Now, this is going to be super thick. Oh, it's the acetate. what it was. I was like, why is this not bending? All right, let's try that again. Okay, it's still fat. These paper clips are doing it, see? Um, we're going to tie it shut, remember? So the next thing that we're going to do is off camera, I'm going to add the ribbon. And then I'm going to go back through. I added this to the front. I didn't show you that with the little tag in here. I pulled it out far enough so the season's greeting shows. But, um, yeah, this part is pretty fat, especially with that charm. Trying to figure out it's the um whatchamacallit the loop the metal jump ring the jump ring anyway taking up camera time I'll figure something out so this section is done except for the ribbon and the ephemera yay you guys did good you're zooming right along. Let me set this in the safe zone. Okay. Now, section four is just going to be a pocket. And I'm going to make a small journal to put in the pocket. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, it's just going to be held with elastic. Three pages, including the cover. Easy peasy. No big deal. So, in the pocket with the booklet, or mini journal, or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to try to use the blue paper, because we're going to include um, a, well, that wouldn't work, would it? Because you can't take a jelly pen apart. I was going to, what is up? Oh, it's caught on the. I will use this for um, reference. For I think it'll be fine in the pocket, but I'm thinking that we're going to put it in the spine, the big one, the three inch one. And I'm not sure exactly how yet. I'm thinking maybe a fake spine. 
with the loop. And then we've got our bookmark as well. I might just put this in because I can't make anything around it. So this is the what's going to be in our three inch spine. I had this out. I was going to make a custom pen, which there's no reason that says we can't make two. All right, this is going to be the inside out envelope. The first thing you need to do is cover all of it. I kind of murdered it a little bit getting it open, but that's okay. We're covering both sides with paper. So that's fine that there's a little tear right there. Okay, so I'm going to um, pause the video and I'm going to cover eight flaps, four and four, and the two sides, and then I'll be right back. Okay, all right, see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and made this because it's so simple that um, I figured that I could explain it and you guys would figure it out. So you've covered all the flaps in the centers. Okay, now the one thing I would caution you is this is a directional paper. So um, you wanna keep track of how you lay the flap down on the paper. You can lay it down upside down and on the back side, um, which I did it wrong once. Um, that's how I ended up with two of these, um, inside and out. And I'll show you that in a second. And then, um, so you're gonna, you papered all your flaps inside and out, and then you papered your two centers with complementary papers on the front. I double tied this. I put a double bow on it because we wanna leave it tight because we're just gonna slide a card in. There's no pocket on this side. So anyway, all right. Anyway, the eyelets are there. I measured a half an inch this way, half an inch that way, and made that the center of my holes, put the eyelets in. On the other side, I did have to trim these down just a little bit so they met in the center with the eyelets versus overlapping. But now on the back side, I went ahead and let them overlap and I just put a little Velcro dot. You only see it on one side, on the inside. And then this opens up and there's a belly band. So you would put a card in here, like this one, which fits perfectly. Okay, so you put a card in here. This hasn't been stenciled though. And then that would be your whole your whole uh, unit or, or little project thing. Now, um, let me talk to you a little bit about, I'll talk about this in a minute, but um, we need to talk about this. I have a big, big problem. And um, the big, big problem is the back. Can you see the back, how rounded it is? And I've actually taken out I took out the detachable, the floating envelope with the paper clips and the bow to help with the thickness. And I'll show you what the problem is and I'll show you how to fix it. All right, so we've got our front page. Oh, and I put the ribbons on. And I measured them so they went right across the center like we had talked about. All right, so those are things I did off camera. I did a little bit of ephemera too, I think. Um, so this still opens down and down. There's nothing we can really do about that. If you want to save thickness on the front, you can, um, not use this last flip down. Oh, the first mistake I made was I used the heavier blue paper instead of white, just white cardstock. So that made it, um, a little bit thicker when you close it. There was a belly band here. Now, the thickness on the front is okay. It doesn't cause the back to curve, and it just adds thickness to the whole section, and that's fine. Um, the problem is, when we open it this way, this is our problem. The problem is the, um, those things, the brads, 
they're too thick. So what I would do is either uh, make this without the flaps on either side so you would cut the envelope parts off and just put this in like this and that would be fine or um, close this uh, with um, make this belly band wider and close it with two velcro dots and that would have been fine as well but now we've got this there's no way to fix it you could cut the flaps off but um, I'm not that good with a straight blade and I was afraid I would cut this so I didn't um, this is our little bitty flip and if I'd made it where it closed on the outside that would have been better as well um, so it's totally my fault a couple little design flaws the this flipping towards the, the way it is to where it opens like this is fine um, it's just this that's causing the problem especially I've already taken some of the cards out I think we went over that before I think if I take that one out that will help I'll just use this as my demo card to show where all the pockets are that there's no cards in okay so we've got this this and this now I went to put um, the heavier acetate pocket across the bottom when I tried to close it because of the curvature of the back it totally uh, would not let it lay flat it buckled up this way so I had to take it off fortunately I checked it before the glue was dry so now what I've done is I've put an acetate tuck not a pocket because it's not long enough but I just made it a tuck and I made it with the thinner acetate all right the other thing, and I'm sorry about this, uh, this one should have had magnets. I think we talked about this. We should have had a magnet to attach this to this, and then another magnet here underneath the paper and here behind the pocket to attach this to this. Now, if I had, I've got, I totally forgot when I was doing the ephemera, we, the big pad that's the kit or the the let it snow pad not the paper pad came with these two sets of stickers and I totally forgot about them when I was doing my ephemera um, if I had um, I could still add a magnet behind the pocket here and add another one here and put one of these smaller s stickers over it but I really didn't want to take a chance and it's already there so, um, and we also need a card here to go under this belly band. So when I do the flip through, I'm just going to have to show where they would have gone. And the other way to get by this is to, um, when you open it, just make sure to remember to kind of hold the CD covers when you're opening it and then they won't flip out. So we need a card for back there, a card for here, and a card for here. In the first section, when we had the um, the card that went in the other envelope, uh, CD envelope that we had, that kind of stuck out a little bit, and I was like, oh, okay, there's enough room. There's not, and I'll show you in a second. Um, what that problem is. So these are the problems you can avoid by planning a little bit more ahead. I was just having so much fun doing this. So now I've got this. So what I'm going to have to do, I've got this part right here that curves. Oh, and because this is so heavy and this is in here that makes it not lay flat, that makes that curvature, I actually had a small tear right here in our white card stock oh right here so I was able to luckily um, take a piece of scotch tape and put it here and then just barely kind of tuck it around over to reinforce it so it doesn't tear anymore I was very upset um, at first I just thought it was the um, 
uh, the, what is it? Yeah, at first I just thought it was the, um, this whole flap. No, this whole flap right here. I mean, I thought it was just the um, envelope, but it wasn't. It it was the uh, the whole thing. The, the whole the whole thing was ripping. And um, like I said, so those are the problems we have with this one. I just got carried away with trying to make unique pages. So just keep that in mind when you're following along in the videos to um, keep track of what do we got going on here. Oh. It's stuck in there. Keep track of your thickness in the center of your section. Now to glue this down I'm going to have to open it up, glue this down to the cover and let it dry thoroughly. Use a lot of glue. You might even want to use two-sided tape plus glue. I've never done that before but um, it might be time to learn how and um, then close it and then tie it and try not to tie it so tight that you yank on it even more. All right. So for our side pocket in section four, let me get the cover out. Anyway, wait a minute. Let me tell you this first. For our side pocket, for section four, because we still have a side in our cover that we haven't done anything with, we're just going to cover it with a piece of paper, one of these um, eight by eights, and we'll have to cut it down so it can't be this image. I had cut off the image of the cover on the first um, pad that I had, and I thought that I could use that as, uh, you know, turn it sideways and put it in. And, um, oh, I didn't think about that. I actually could. Let me get that back out. I'll have to go back through, um, through the trash. I threw away all my teeny tiny scraps because I won't need them. Um, and make a card. You'd have to cover the back side because it's got the um, cutouts, the stencils for the the tabs and stuff. This is one that folds. These are just um, decorative uh, squares. This is a little writing card. I guess they put the lines on there to show you. And then on the back, they do the same thing, but this big piece of plastic is here so that they can hang it. So you can't use this much of it. So any part of the template that goes in farther is not going to work. The back pages of all the pads are glued here. So um, you have to either cut them in the middle of this or yank them out really hard and hope you don't tear the paper. So those are my tips so far that we've done. And let me get the cover, the pocket on the fourth part is going to hold, now it's going to hold this. We'll have to put a card in here and a card in here. We're going to use our uh, altered paper clip that we weren't going to be able to use in the other section because it made it too thick. And then we're going to put this in there. I was going to put a journal in there, but then I realized we had these three items that are thick enough that we could probably just put these in the pocket um, on the cover and it would be thick enough, you know, put this on the front of the pocket. So um, we're going to do that in the next video. We're going to go ahead and start um, putting these inside the covers and um, covering the covers. Let me grab the cover real quick. Let 
Now, what I did was I looked at the thickness of them standing up. I thought, and it does make a difference, which two you put together. Um, my, whoops, I'm so sorry. And it does make a difference which one you glue to this side, which one you glue to this side, because this one is so thick. Okay, so we're going to put the pocket and the super thick bent ones, or curved one, in this section on this side. So that's what we'll do with that. So let me hold this out. This little card keeps sliding out. Okay, so we're going to have to I'm gonna put that there. We're going to put these in this section right here. And we're going to put, I'm sorry, I'm going to put this over here. This is our left, this is our right for the center. It's a little crazy right now, and we're not doing the cover right now, but I'm just showing you. This right here is the CD uh, card that had the tab that stuck out, and it just isn't going to fold. So I had to take that card out, and I just put in a placeholder card that's blue, which doesn't look near as nice, but um, I could pull it out and put paper on it. Um, so this is the order they're going to be in when you open the book. It's going to be this, then this, then this. So this is going to be one, two, three, and then part four. Which is here, which is going to be paper. And then we're going to put um, a pocket in. And I haven't decided if we're going to make a little expandable pocket. Um, or if we're just going to put in one that has um, a little gusset on it. So I'm going to plan that. So far I haven't had any trouble with the thinner paper. Um, and I do wish this was dark black and not... Sorry about my neighbor stomping around. Um, navy blue instead of black. But that blue paper we had um, was just too thick and it cracked. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for this video. We just had the discussion on how to do this. The review. I'm taking this out. Looking at section 3 and trying to figure out what we're going to do with it and what went wrong so that you don't do it when you do your uh, project. Okay? All right, so that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.